Let's start by bringing in one of the Pro Tools Essential Loops to the Audio 1 track. Go to the Window menu and select Workspace. Click the Search button, type Essential Loops, and press Enter. Double click the Pro Tools Essential Loops folder. You can click the triangles to open the folders, and you can click the speaker icon to audition loops. Make sure this metronome icon is green so the loops will be matched to the tempo of your song. Find one you like, and then drag and drop the file to the left of the Audio 1 track in the edit window. Drop it on the far left so the audio begins at the start of the track and on beat. You can easily make this loop repeat by duplicating it. The loop should already be selected. If not, come up here and select this hand tool. Click an empty spot to make sure nothing is selected, and then click the loop to select it. Press Ctrl D or Command D on a Mac to duplicate the region. In Pro Tools, you can use the spacebar to start and stop playback. Go ahead and audition the loop. Let's take a look at the structure virtual instrument that was generating the piano sound earlier. Switch over to the mix window by pressing Ctrl equal on PC or Command equal on Mac. Click the Structure Essential plugin in the Insert section at the top of the piano track. On the left, we can see that the current patch is an acoustic piano. Click these little triangles to choose a different patch. I'm going to select an electric piano instead. Let's go ahead and record something. Click to record Enable the Piano track, then click to switch back to the Edit window. Click the Record Enable button at the top, and also click the Return to Zero button. Press the spacebar to begin recording, and you can press spacebar again to stop. You can then use spacebar to start and stop playback of your recording. Let's add a new track so we can record some audio, like from a microphone or guitar. First, click to select the female vocal track so the new track will be created right after it. Then, go to the track menu and choose New. For a microphone or guitar, you want to create a mono audio track. If you have a stereo mixer or synthesizer hooked up, choose to create a stereo track. I've got a guitar hooked up, so I'm going to create a mono audio track. Here you can see the new track, Audio 3. Double click its name to rename it, type a new name, and then click OK. Click to record Enable the new track here in the edit window, then play your guitar, sing into your mic, or play some keys on your synth to see if you're getting signal. I'm playing my guitar, but I'm not seeing any input. Switch back to the mixer by pressing Ctrl equal or Command equal on Mac. Here I can see in the I.O. section that In 2 is selected. I need to switch that to In 1. Now I've got signal, but it's a little low. Let's raise the input gain from the Micro's control panel. Windows users, right-click the M-Audio icon from the taskbar to open the M-Audio Micro control panel, or double-click the M-Audio Micro icon from the Windows control panel. Mac users click the M-Audio Micro icon found in Apple's system preferences. When recording with a microphone, it's best to monitor with headphones. If you only have speakers, make sure that you keep the microphone away from the speakers and be careful when turning up the input gain. If the speaker feeds back into the microphone, you can generate a potentially loud and damaging high-pitched squeal. Slowly bring up the input gain. You want your average level to be on the edge of green and yellow. If your peaks, or the loudest you'll be singing or playing, 
hits the red, turn the gain down. You should also be able to hear your input signal. If needed, you can adjust the output volume using the slider on the right. Now that I've got my levels set, I'm going to go to the insert section at the top of the track and insert the SANS amp plugin for my guitar. I'm also going to click here at the top to load one of the presets. You could also just turn knobs until you dial in a sound you like. Okay, let's switch back to the edit window. Click the record enable and return to zero buttons. And again, we can use spacebar to start and stop recording. You can continue building your song by adding loops, recording tracks, adjusting the mix, and more. For more information on recording, editing, and mixing in Pro Tools, check out the Intro to Pro Tools guide found under the Help menu.